Yes. Yes. And a thousand times yes. So well deserved. I will always have nothing but good things to say about future Hall of Famer Miguel Cabrera, who achieved yet another milestone this past Saturday. One that he, I don't think he really needed to be in Cooperstown. To me, though, I feel this may have been the last milestone he will be reaching. And this pretty much will complete his Hall of Fame resume. Unless the Tigers somehow pull off a World Series victory this year. Don't see it happening, but I, I keep saying that the Tigers are going to be a team that's going to improve. That is, that's going to improve for 2022. Well, they're 6-9 and nine so far, so it doesn't look like it yet, but they're having some pieces in there. But anyways, this past Saturday, after having, I think, three or four hits a couple of nights ago, beforehand, um, he went hitless and, and got ahead and, um, I think, sat out a game. Um, a hitless afternoon and a rain out. Miguel Cabrera this past Saturday off of Rockies Antonio Senzatella became the 33rd player in Major League history to get 3,000 hits with a single in the right field. And again, it is well deserved. But listen to this though. Not only is Miguel Cabrera only the 33rd player to reach that milestone, but he is only the seventh player in Major League history to have 500 home runs and 3,000 hits. I did not do a video on it last year, but Miguel Cabrera did hit his 500th home run, I think, last August off of Blue Jay starter Steven Matz. Uh, he currently has 502. He has not hit a home run yet this season. But not only that, he's in that, seven, that, that club. He also, out of those seven, which those seven players are Cabrera, Pujols, A-Rod, Rafael Palmeiro, Eddie Murray, Willie Mays, and Hank Aaron. Out of those seven players, Cabrera has so far the highest career batting average of 310 for his career. But also, out of those seven players... Cabrera is now only one of three players to not only have 3,000 hits, not only have 500 home runs, but also to have a 300 at batting average. And the other two, Hank Aaron, Willie Mays. That's a pretty darn good company right there. That's a pretty darn good company to compare yourselves to. Like Miguel Cabrera is, for the most part, on the same level as Willie Mays and Hank Aaron as far as hitting 300, over 500 homers, and 3,000 hits. That's just a special player right there. And yes, Cabrera has struggled for a past for, for, for a while now. Uh, you know, he's definitely, you know, age has caught up to him. He's 39 years old now. Um, I'm not sure how much longer he has. I think he has one more year left on his contract, I think, after this. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but, um... But um, let's just look at these, these numbers, though. 11-time All-Star, 4-time batting champion, 2-time MVP, Triple Crown Award winner. Again, I, how could you get any better? And, you know, he's just someone who, as far as I know, knock on wood, has not been in trouble yet uh, with any like, a certain violations or suspensions. It's like, how could you not respect a player this good? Like, what really is left for him to do? Because I even thought of this, too. Like, you know, has Cabrera ever won a World Series? Which he did. He won a World Series in his rookie year back in 2003 with the Marlins. He's took, I think he's taken a couple trips to the World Series with the Tigers. They didn't win. But he's won a World Series as a rookie. His first hit, remember, was actually a walk-off homer he hit. Um, he has 3,000 hits, 500 home runs, bubble-time all-star, batting champion. Um... Silver Slugger probably in there as well. It's like, how did you not get any better? Like, I think Miguel Cabrera, you could easily, I think, put him in, in the top 10. Maybe more. Like I said, there's not too many players you can compare your, you can, you can put yourself in the same category as Hank Aaron and Willie Mays. With having a 300 average, 500 homers, and 3,000 hits. 
That's something special. Like, they said basically Cabrera would have to go 0 and 352 for him to drop below 300 for his career batting average. That is just, it's still just outstanding what this guy has been able to do. Of course, this also is marking probably the last time in a while we will see someone get to the 3,000 hit mark. I believe the only three, I think, players that have 2,000 hits right now is uh, Robinson Cano, who is like 2,600, Joey Votto, about 2,100, and I think it's Mike Trout after that. Let me double check here. Mike Trout has... We pull up here. Angels, Angels, Angels. Come on. Come on. Michael Nelson Trout. Come on. Let's just double check here. Who's... Wow, I can't believe Trout's 30 years old. He'll be 31 in August. He has... Oh, wait. He does not. I'm sorry. He does not. There was a third... I forgot. I saw the other day. There was a third player who has 2,000 hits. I can't remember who it is now. Rats. Oh, well, anyways, but it is going to be a while until we see someone else get the 3,000 hit mark. It's kind of like how, like, like a decade and a half ago, we were seeing a lot of people like Tom Glavin, Greg Maddox, um, Randy Johnson, uh, Roger Clemens. There was a lot of people, like, like so pitchers from, like, the, the, pr- the previous decade who were just reaching 300 wins. It's going to be a long time until we see another 300-win pitcher. And it's going to be a long time before we see another 3,000 hit um, player as well. I but hope to see guys like, hopefully, Mike Trout. Um, I definitely would like to see maybe Ronald Acuna Jr. I mean, a lot of guys are early in their careers. Acuna, Vlad Guerrero. Um, who knows? Maybe we could see, um, you know, like Key Brian Hayes maybe of the Pirates maybe or something like that. It's going to be a while, though, but it's we're not going to see a 3,000-hit uh, member for quite some time. 500 homers? We have some one, people that are getting up there. Like, yeah, Nelson Cruz is the next closest with, with 451, I think, last year. He has two this year. Like I said, if he can play two seasons, have at least a 30-homer season and a 25-homer season, I think he can do it. But it's going to be close. It's going to be very close for Nelly Cruz. Um, I also... Um, think that I would like to see John Carlos Stan get the 500 if he's healthy. If Mike Trout can stay healthy, get the 500 homers. But it's going to be a bit. It's going to be a bit before we see some of those big numbers again. Of course, the next big milestone I think right now is is Albert Pools going to get the 700 homers or not. We'll have to wait and see. But congratulations, Miguel Cabrera. Within the next 10 years, Miguel Cabrera will be in Cooperstown. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer, no doubt. Like I said, you, you just, if you can literally be in the same categories as Hank Aaron and Willie Mays, you're, 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 you're pretty much set. You are pretty much set. So, that's my thoughts. Congrats, Big E. Always respect you, man. And I couldn't be more happier for you. Again, this is probably the last milestone he's going to be reaching. You know, unless he pulls off something else that I'm not aware of. But yeah. Miguel Cabrera, the newest member of the 3,000th Hit Club. So what are your thoughts, guys, on Miguel Cabrera getting his 3,000th hit? Make sure you leave your thoughts down in the comments section below. And be sure, as always, to slap a like on the video, subscribe more content on my channel, and follow me on Twitter as well, at DemandAirBoy93. Till then, guys, I'm checking out. I'll catch you all later. Have a great rest of your night. Peace out, everybody.